Thank you. Thank you for having we me. We are so happy to have you here. Um, I, uh, I think a lot of people have really enjoyed watching this new wave of people come to Congress. Of course, you were one of them. And one of the things I have particularly enjoyed watching you do is uh, ask people questions on congressional panels. Now, this is not something you had experience with. Uh, you famously did not have any experience in politics before this job. Why do you think it is that you were good at it? And do you think anything you did that was outside of politics has been helpful? Well, I think one thing is that uh, I was reflecting because, I was just reflecting today because exactly a year ago, I was um, working in a restaurant. I was bartending. And I think that that proximity, just being a real working person uh, in the halls of Congress is actually such a jarring difference <laughs> yes. from who has historically been there that it really allows you to cut through the BS super quickly. And especially as someone who had to, you know, close up a restaurant and, and at night and have to kick everyone out, like, you're really good at just saying, hey, <laughs> yeah. <it's> enough. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> it strikes me, you know, oftentimes you're given five minutes to ask questions, mm -hmm. and you're given someone who, obviously, if given time, you'd want to ask a lot more of. It strikes me that some of you go in with a plan. You strike me as one of those people. And uh, this is true of a lot of other Democrats, as well as many Republicans, come in with no plan at all. When you're sitting there, are you often taken aback by how bad they are at asking questions? <laughs> Well, sometimes, especially with my uh, with my Republican colleagues, they say things, and I'm like, what does that have to do with what we're talking about <laughs> yeah. right now? There's this one member who famously, every single financial services uh, committee hearing, he says, I ask everyone this, are you a capitalist or a socialist? And, uh, and like, the, the person's, like, in charge of the National Flood Insurance Program, they're like, what? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and the best thing, too, is, uh, is this, you know, last week, he, he actually said, are you a, 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 a capitalist or a socialist? Yes or no? And the woman said, yes or no? <laughs> and he says, yeah. And she goes, yes. <laughs> and it was a whole panel, and he made everyone go down, and everyone said, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and, and then I said, hey, it's great. We have a mixed economy. It's possible. <laughs> yeah, you don't know which one they are, they, which one they were saying yes to. Uh, one obsession, uh, or I should say a, a group of people that seem to have an obsession with you, is uh, those, our friends over at Fox News. Oh, yeah. uh, they talk about you a lot. Are you surprised with the speed at which they seem to have shifted all their attention and programming it's, to you? I mean, it's weird. And, yeah. like, like, why are so many grown men just obsessed with this, like, 29-year-old? I mean, it's, it's great. I love the... I mean... On second thought. Um, no, but, uh, but I think it's, it's, it's really funny, and the conspiracy theories are Yeah, well, great. today, um, uh, Mike Huckabee uh, said that there are... He did that great thing that people on Fox News do, which he said, um, you know, some people are saying she's a Manchurian candidate. Yeah. I don't know, uh, which is a super classy thing to do. Um, if you don't know, uh, Mike Huckabee's a famous bass player. Um, did you... <laughs> are you, uh, just since I have you here, are you a, a Manchurian candidate? I'm not... Uh... That's exactly what a Manchurian <laughs> yeah, candidate exactly. said. Exactly. Caught you. <laughs> Not a Manchurian candidate, but I do have amazing staff. And in no part, thanks to the fact that we pay a living wage in our office, we don't pay any less than $52,000 a year, which means... Yeah. Um, which means, so far, two of my staffers have been able to quit their second jobs in restaurants and be fully present at work. And so, uh, you know, I hope it's a lesson to our folks at the other side of the, on, on the other side of the aisle that if you pay your staff, then... You'll be prepared. You'll be prepared. Yeah. And you won't be saying yes or no, <laughs> capitalism or socialism. Uh, one thing I'm curious about, because obviously a lot of people, uh, your colleagues across the aisle, they also consume a lot of Fox News. Mm -hmm. Do they then get you know, bad information about you? And how has your interaction with them been yeah, so far? Yeah, yeah. Well, it is, uh, it is funny because one of the side effects of uh, kind of this Fox News lunacy is that, uh, is that other actual members of Congress, like, believe it and see it uncritically. And so I was on the floor once, and this guy came up to me, and he was like, is it true that you got $10 million from Netflix? And I was like, no. <laughs> And it's like in the well, like we're voting on like gun reform. And I'm like, what else do you not know? <laughs> um, this is concerning. Uh, 
But, he said, did yeah. you make 10 million or no money, yes or no? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Did you, uh, 